Hi, Boshua used to be my absolute favorite drugstore brand, the Healthy Mix uh, Foundation, an absolute favorite that I've repurchased and repurchased. This is a great drugstore tube for the STL Audi Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. Uh, they have a lovely flower perfection primer to go with it. They had the most adorable bronzers that came in these little books. This one is a highlighter. And these were actually shaped like chocolate. And believe it or not, smell like chocolate. And they had this gorgeous pot of blushes. Uh, they had amazing lipsticks, the Rouge Edition Bullet Lipstick, the Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipstick and so on. So very innovative brand there. But all of a sudden, you know, the new launches stopped and, you know, there was nothing new from them anymore. Until very recently, so I was, you know, very meh about their products of late. So recently they launched the always fabulous Long Lasting Stick Found Sealer. This one is a found sealer and I thought, what on earth is a found sealer? Obviously it was a concealer foundation hybrid, but would that work? I wanted to try out, so I bought two of them in the shades uh, 420 Honey Beige and 410 Golden Beige. So these cost £11.99 each. It does come down a bit if you have a three for two offer, uh, which you often do in boots and uh, so on. Or if you have a discount code, I will link up any discount codes that I find in the description box below. There are more than 10 shades. I find at least 10 shades listed on most websites. However, I find that there's only one shade that is really deep. So, warning. Uh, these promise to be breathable, to sweep away shine, to conceal blemishes and dark circles, and above all, to stay in place for 24 hours. They also promise hydration and a flawless radiant glow. So, before we talk about all these claims, packaging, regular stick there, there's a sponge at the other end. I don't like the sponge, it's way too dense to, you know, it's not, you know, pliant enough for, you know, these hard to reach areas. So not a fan of the sponge, that's all right. I prefer this with a brush anyway. You'll see how it works with a, spr a sponge as well as a brush and which one works better. So here you have the color itself and let's watch that very quickly. Uh, this one is golden beige. Ah, shouldn't I have worn full sleeves for this one? Anyway, we'll do good. I think there's space here, yeah. So that one is golden beige. And we'll do honey beige on the other hand. They're very, very close actually. This is the first time that I've seen yellow undertones from Bourgeois. Uh, normally they have pink to neutral undertones, even in the Healthy Mix Foundation. So you can't even see them. So you can't even see the swatches. That's how well they blend out with my skin tone. Uh, this one is golden beige and this one is honey beige, which is a tad deeper and warmer. But both are yellow. Now let's try these on my face. So I'm gonna go in with golden beige all over the face. And I like thick, heavy coverage, so I'm going to be generous with my application. And I'm also going to use this as concealer. So forehead I will be doing off camera for obvious reasons. I've got to hold my fringe out of the way. Let's first try this with a brush, Sigma F80. Yep, it does spread out nicely. So for the under eyes, I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I'm going to use the darker shade Honey Beige in the contour area for some warmth. This isn't intended to act as a separate contour. It's more medium coverage actually. I wouldn't call it, you know, full coverage at all. 
Most stick foundations offer medium coverage, at best, sheer to medium. Right, on this side, I'm going to use a sponge. Okay, that shears it out a lot more. Bad idea that, so I'm going to go back in with a brush. That's better. This actually performs better with a brush than a sponge. Now, very dewy finish there. I'm going to go off camera and do my forehead because I've got to hold my fringe out of the way. Now I'm going to go in with the darker shade Honey Beige on the contour. This is not meant for contouring obviously because it's also, you know, very close to the previous shade. I just want to see if I can get some warmth in. Oh, it actually blends in, doesn't it? No, nope, not going to work. Right, let's just very quickly blend that out. I think it actually gave better coverage, this one. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it's definitely buildable. Let's see if that is true. Yep, it's buildable, definitely. But I don't think you'll get absolute full coverage, you know. So as you can see, it's very, very dewy. I'm very, very oily. And as the day passes, this becomes greasier and greasier and greasier on me and definitely needs a setting powder or some kind of mattifying product for those with oily skin. For those with uh, dry skin, it doesn't matter. It's going to keep them dewy uh, like this. But for those who are oily skinned like I am, uh, you're definitely going to need some kind of mattifying product, uh, a setting powder, translucent powder, something like that. Or you're gonna to have to blot every few seconds. <laughs> right. So these contain jojoba seed oil, mica, lots of silicones, vitamin E and fragrance. Um, I'm not too asked about fragrance, I'm alright with it. However, the jojoba seed oil, the mica and the vitamin E give this a lot more grease than it should be having. The mica gives it a bit of a glow, which is great if you want that kind of luminous look, but if you're already greasy, you don't need that. The jojoba oil and the vitamin E, however, make this very creamy very easy to blend however grease now let's just take a very quick look at two stick foundations that i have mentioned before on this channel i will link up my reviews or videos about these uh, in the description box below the first is from revolution it is a fast based stick foundation and it comes in 18 shades so i'll just watch uh, it uh, here so the Revolution Fast Basic Foundation is over here and the Bourgeois is over here and you can see that the, Rev the Revolution uh, Stick Foundation is a lot deeper. You have Honey Beige here which is still, you know, lighter than the Rev Revolution Pro one. However, the Revolution Fast Basic Foundation does not contain any oils. It goes down equally creamy, as creamy as a Bourgeois, but it doesn't contain any oil so it doesn't make my face look greasy it doesn't make my face feel greasy there's no mica in there either so you know i don't have that shiny finish there so you can see my review here as well i'll link it up in the description box there's a demo there and it you know i think it performs better than this one now one more stick product that i've talked about recently this is the mark jacobs accomplice stick it is a foundation as well as a concealer. I prefer using it as a concealer rather than as a foundation. Uh, it Again, it doesn't have any oil. Hang on, I'll just watch that now. And that is obviously the deepest one that I have. This one was sent to me from Influenza, so the shade that I chose was a bit... Yeah, so the Marc Jacobs over there, and that is obviously deeper than all of the others. You have the other bourgeois shade, the bourgeois and the revolution here. So while the Marc Jacobs Accomplice stick doesn't contain any oils as such, it does contain paraffin, which is a mineral oil derivative. So if you are somebody who breaks out with paraffin, remember that one. Uh, performance wise, I must say that the bourgeois is the greasiest. It is the oiliest. It is medium coverage, buildable though, as you saw. Uh, the Revolution is more, you know, medium to full coverage. Again, easier to build up to better coverage. Very creamy, as creamy as bourgeois, however, less greasy. Uh, the finish is more satiny than, you know, dewy as such. Whereas 
with uh, the bourgeois you have a dewy finish and on oily skins you get a greasy finish i don't like using the accomplice as an all over foundation it doesn't work very well for me however i like using it as a concealer and best of all as a touch-up stick through the day it works a treat that way when your you know foundation breaks up around your nose this is great to touch up during the day so they all have their different purposes however i do find wear test uh while the bourgeois claimed to stay in place for 24 hours it doesn't on me two hours three hours it's broken up around my nose not a fan of that uh of these three i would give you know the highest marks for the revolution one i know uh not sponsored not a pr sample not affiliated with them in any way but you know this one does not break up around my nose this one does break up around my nose and this one is greasier this one I only use as a touch-up stick, so I can't really um, critique it in the same, you know, place as the other two. So if you are dry skinned and if you're looking for a light uh, stick foundation, if you, uh, which also doubles up as concealer, mind you, the concealer's coverage is not excellent. Uh, but, you know, if you don't mind that if you're looking for medium coverage for a concealer and a foundation stick that's really travel friendly, that has everything. Uh, that you need for application the bourgeois always fabulous long lasting found sealer is a great choice but if you're remotely greasy you don't love it if you're greasy enough where you know your makeup breaks around breaks up around your nose again you won't love it it doesn't stay on for 24 hours definitely you need to reapply around lunchtime that's the way it was for me that's my experience if you have a different experience if you have a favorite stick foundation product do tell me that in the comments below i would love to know so that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.